Hey everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a copper basin. It's a super simple but super effective uh, coastal sea trout pattern. Obviously, it imitates a gamarus. You, you know the sort of size and shape that it's tied in. You can see that. Really, you should have these in your box. They're just they're, they're so simple, but they just catch fish. Now, as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the monthly fly tying classes, members only content, and enter into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos and you can come and watch them. Like the video, share the video, comment, watch it all the way to the end. That all helps the channel to grow. So I've got my hook in my vise. This is a an Airx curved Gamarus. It's a size six. You can tie these tens if you want or eights or whatever. Like it's up to you. But I'm going for a six here. Um, and I've run on some fluorescent red uh, Danvos Flymaster and 140 Denier. I've taken it to a point which will be the end of my body, which is about a, a 45 degree angle roughly down to the point of the hook when I stop it. I've got to come up again, so I've got a nice base of thread and I'll catch in some large copper wire, which will be my rib. And I'm just going to run it down, bringing it to my side as I come round the, the bend of the hook there, round the curve of the shank. And that's fine. The dubbing, I'm using copper, light bright, um, but to make it into a good dubbing, I'll show you. So it comes like this, right, I've sort of got some of this fluffed out of the bag, it's just, and it's just basically like copper angel hair here, and what I like to do, get some, I'll grab it, I'll kind of line it up so I know roughly the length of the fibres that I'm getting, and I'll, I'll pinch it quite hard and then just tear it and the ends I don't know how well you can see that but the ends stretch obviously as you're tearing it some of them will curl some of the fibres will curl a bit more right and as you rip it each time you know just make sure you're, you've got the, you're holding it where the fibres are going to still be long enough to give you a good dubbing just tear it through itself a few times then get a wee roll end up with this. It obviously, I mean I've got a batch here, I've got enough for a few flies already in my desk. It dubs very easy. The colour changes a wee bit in some of the stretched fibres and it gives you a nice blend of colours and it's very easy to dub. But, you know, other people use different stuff but this is fine, I think. I like it. Um, but you know, some folk use the Salmo Supreme, there's a couple of colours of that. The Future Fly does a dubbing that a lot of folk like. Um, I mean, copper, ice dub, really it's up to yourself. So I've got a fairly chunky noodle of dubbing on here. Um, the size 6, you do need a fair amount. Stabbing my finger there. Because um, you know, you need to, because it's a longer body, it's a bigger fly, you need to also make it thicker as well, right? If you're tying a 10, it can be a bit sparser. And because you're brushing it, right, I'm going to brush this with the Velcro to sort of put a sort of leggy effect or whatever, or, although they're on the wrong side, you would say. But um, to get a bit of movement and things in the fly, you can actually make it a wee bit heavier than you might think is necessary because it will thin you know when you when you brush it you thin it you thin the body because you're pulling those fibres out so you can see there I've dubbed a fairly chunky profile I'm going to stop a good I I I and a half back from the hook eye. 
and then I'll take my rubber, I'll take a full turn at the back and then I'm going to come up and um, six or seven turns really is usually about right get to the front now I'm going to, because I'm using the heavy wire I, take a, I like to take a straight turn just to sort of help lock it so that when I helicopter it I can bend it and then tie over it and helicopter it away nice and clean I find with the, the large wire that if you just tie it off sometimes it sort of moves that final wrapper wrap of the rib but if you take that full turn around the front it stops that happening so just to tidy up at the front there I'm going to get another small amount of dubbing just fill that in and then I'll come to the front and just draw anything going forward just draw it back and I'll build up my head and I want I want a decent head on it, it's a, uh, I mean I'm using the fluorescent thread right, I'm getting a wee aiming point and then you're ready to whip finish and you're just using the whip finish there to build the head as well put that nice and tight Stick another one on. You know, you're casting these in amongst the rocks and the surf and all that, you, you know, or, well, in the waves. They're liable, they're liable to get knocked about and that wee extra bit of security does no harm. So before I varnish it, I like to brush it, right? Um, and I'm going to be quite aggressive with the brushing. Sides around the back and in the belly. And you'll pull a lot of fibres out. And then you can get a wee roll. You see, there's some of them are a wee bit long, so I'll just pinch it and tear them away. Don't cut them with your scissors. If you do that, you'll just end up putting a sharp edge on it. And it's you know, you get you lose the taper, whereas if you just grab it and pinch it off, it keeps that sort of nice tapered look. And then the last thing to do is get your varnish. Just sweep everything back, just make sure none of the fibres are sticking to the front. And then I just flood the whole head. Make sure you're all the way around, well coated. There we go. And then just clean the eye. I mean, if you really want to, you can put a second coat on it, but I don't really think you need it on this pattern. Right? It's just uh, enough as it is there. But there you go. That's the copper basin. S stupid simple. Absolutely deadly. Tie some up. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Take lines guys, bye!